Yes, good morning again. Uh, we're here this morning near the intersection of East Street and Robinson Road. Police say that this has turned out to be a hot spot when it comes to persons remaining on the streets during this ongoing 24-hour curfew. This morning, we're going to talk to Officer Patrick Camp from the Royal Bahamas Police Force Traffic Division, who's going to talk about some of those reasons that persons have been giving as to why uh, they've been on the streets uh, during the curfew and what can be done uh, as it relates to uh, ongoing efforts. Uh, good morning. Mr. Mr. Lloyd and good morning Bahamas. Uh, during this week we've we've made a number of arrests um, through the streets in Nassau uh, particularly in the area of Robertson Road and East Street and it's due to the fact that persons are not taking this this uh, pandemic serious. Uh, persons are still choosing through the streets past curfew and this is a serious problem. For the, during the course of this week, we've arrested a number of persons, and we're going to continue to arrest a number of persons who refuse to adhere to the law that is in place. Persons are coming out in the area, especially of Robertson Road and East Street, and they're using these side corners to choice and to make runs that has no valid reasons for being out on the streets. We have persons who are saying stuff along the lines of they're going to drop food off to their parents, drop food off to their loved ones. We have persons who are even catering to the other homes. This is a no-no, all right? The law is in effect, and we are mandated to carry out those laws, and we're going to enforce the law. And if you're caught, we are, you, are, you will be dealt with according to the law. And even during this time, I want the people, the uh, drivers to know them, that that doesn't mean that you can still break the, the laws. Seatbelt is still a requirement. Driving with your cell phones, while on your cell phone is still a no-no, we still, these things are still in effect. Vehicles that are on the streets that are not licensed and insured, you will still be ticketed and uh, still be dealt with according to the law. And persons, again, we are asking for your support during this time. And of course, a personal appeal coming in there from Officer Camp from the Royal Bahamas Police Force Traffic Division. Now, beyond the legal ramification, he's asking all Bahamians to really abide, ab oblige by that curfew, remain indoors, and uh, to ensure the nation to attack this issue of COVID-19. I'm Lloyd Allen reporting here from East Street and Robinson Road. Charles Fisher, back to you in studio.